Hello, it's Joe here at Riverside Barbecue Centre. We just wanted to quickly take you through some maintenance for the Traegers. Uh, we absolutely love our Traegers here and they get very heavy use and as a result, as yours will too, they end up getting a little bit dirty. So Traeger have got this excellent cleaning product. Um, you'll note on the label it's plant-based, food safe and biodegradable and completely non-toxic. And the other product that we're going to have a look at today is this cleaning brush. Um, so. Before we do anything else, we'll just give everything a quick spray down. I've got the foil liner left in uh, from an old cook, which means it's already dirty, and when you spray on and you scrub off, you just pull the foil liner out, wrap up all of the schmeckers in there, and then you can get it in the bin. <coughs> so I'll just coat everything really nicely with this cleaner. And the nice thing about this being completely non-toxic is that you can just spray anything. So I'll give this little dirty front shelf a spray. I'll save that side table for another time because I'm using it. So we'll just kind of coat everything and leave it for a little while. So the cleaner's been on for a couple of minutes now. Uh, just to let you know, I've got some blue roll here. Kitchen roll will serve the same purpose and just an old rag. Um, you can use a clean rag if you wish. Um, so, as I say, the cleaner's been on for a couple of minutes. Let it do its thing. Just uh, have a little wipe of the inside. Now, this is not remotely abrasive, this blue roll. And you can see that that Traeger label inside, the little plaque is cleaning up a treat. And as you just start to put some elbow grease into it. Again, just with this completely non-abrasive blue roll, all of the kind of sooty residue on the inside of the lid starts to come off. So <clears throat> you can imagine with a couple of applications of cleaner, uh, probably a few more sheets of blue roll than this, it, just spending some time working it in, wiping it off, you can obviously imagine that you, you might get that looking pretty good inside. Uh, naturally, these are intended to be used and they'll never look as good as new, but as I say, with some elbow grease you might get them looking pretty spangling. I've given the lid and the sides and the front table uh, a really good wipe. Uh, I haven't gone to the trouble of actually scrubbing the inside. Of course, you're welcome to do that if you wish. You'd probably get it buffed and shiny. Um, so I'm going to just use the Traeger brush. Um, as I say, the nice thing about this is these bristles are kind of rigid nylon um, and it's got this handle on top so you can just get some extra purchase, a little bit of extra weight into it if you need to. <clears throat> so really simply going backwards and forwards to start with and again as with the inside of everything, these machines are meant to be used. They get food residue on them, they get some soot on them. You won't ever get them good as new, but this does an absolutely amazing job of getting them at least ready for your next cook. Um, and as I said earlier on, this is completely food safe, so even if you get some residue left from the cleaning product, there's absolutely no problem if you put your next wings, brisket, chicken or whatever on here and there's some of this left on. So I'll just continue to scrub backwards and forwards. Once you're kind of happy with how it looks in that way then you can start maybe doing a bit of side to side. It's a little bit noisy, I'm not sure how well this is picking up. But <clears throat> and of course you can take the shelves out to clean them. Uh, in this instance I'm just giving you an example so I shall leave them in. <clears throat> but perhaps you'd like to come in for a closer look. Now this top shelf here is one that we've not touched since the last time we cooked on it. As I said, it gets fairly heavy use. We don't necessarily clean it out between every use, but if you're planning on leaving it for a long time, then I'd, I'd recommend maybe just giving it a cursory wipe over. So as with the bottom shelf, I'm just gonna start with some backwards and forwards. <clears throat> and at first I'm really just trying to get the easy stuff off and uh, work the product in a little bit more. And there's absolutely no problem with reapplying this. It's had a bit of a soak, so this new stuff kind of just lubricates and get my hand in on this top handle and get a bit more weight on it. <clears throat> and really, it's just a case of 
giving it a good scrub until you're happy with how clean it is. And as with the bottom shelf, you can do a bit of this direction. And then once it's had a scrub, we won't use the dirty rag, we'll use some nice clean blue roll. Just give it a wipe, maybe backwards and forwards is a bit easier. <clears throat> and as I said, you'll never get it as good as new, but it looks pretty damn close and uh, I'd be more than happy to cook on that. Um, particularly as it's left to dry for a little bit. Absolutely no issues. Well, I've just had a cursory wipe round of this, really, just to show you what this can do. You must tailor it to your own preference. If you want to try and get this really sparkling clean and you're prepared to spend the time doing it, then by all means do. Personally, I'm happy, I would be happy for this top shelf to be as clean as it ever gets, and I spent probably 90 seconds just with a spray and scrubbing it. And as I said at the beginning, we've left the old foil liner in at the bottom, so you just fold that up and bin it and it makes for an easy cleanup job. If you want to take everything out and have a good spray and a good scrub, um, again, probably use some kitchen roll for some of the hard to get places or something that you don't necessarily want scratched, um, by all means do. Uh, you, you can get this, as you can see here, you can probably get it looking pretty sparkly inside. And uh, if it's your pride and joy or your favorite toy, then of course you want it looking nice. So the cleaning spray and the grill brush are available online to purchase or you can arrange to collect them in store. Um, once we reopen, obviously, they will be available for you to pick up in store when you just come and visit. As is the Timberline 850. And doesn't she look clean now? So hope to see you very soon.